hard year for our soldiers serving in Afghanistan with six deaths this year. Uh, but we were able to Skype direct to Lieutenant Elaine Cowan from Tiny Wien, the Kiwi base in Bamiyan, about her first tour in Afghanistan. The environment itself is a lot different to what we would normally see in New Zealand. There is very limited vegetation, there's no trees, no gardens, no flowers. Everything is brown, every house is brown, every shop is brown. All the roads are brown and soon all the mountains will be covered in snow so it'll go from brown to white. There are over 170 personnel in Bamiyan but only nine are females. How are you coping with that? I've been in the army for nine years so I'm very used to the male dominated environment. Uh, having less females is sometimes always better because we have better showers and there's less of us lining up in the morning. <laughs> so there are some perks. Is there still sadness in the camp over the five soldiers that were recently killed? Uh, here in Kiwi Base we are all a small family. We have a memorial at the front of our camp to remember those who have passed. We walk past that memorial many times a day and every time we remember the soldiers who have fallen. New Zealand will leave Afghanistan in April next year. How's everyone feeling about that? It is a positive step forward to be able to now hand over the security of the Bahrain province to the Afghan National Security Force and for them to be able to provide the security to their own people is a progress. On a lighter note, what will you be doing on Christmas Day? We have given our chefs the day off, so there will be a bunch of us in the kitchen preparing meals. We also have a secret centre arranged within our contingent, and the guys and girls will be out doing a Winter Olympics in the morning. Have you got a Christmas message? This is my first Winter Christmas and my first Christmas away from my family. It's definitely going to be one that I will always remember. Merry Christmas, everyone.